Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 27. As always, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, go to my college website and you can download the workbook Business 210 Chapter 2. Hey, in this video we want to talk about how to create a dot plot chart. A dot plot chart is similar to a histogram, but oftentimes it's used to compare two data sets and instead of columns, we use dots or asterisks. I'm going to scroll down here and we have two sales reps and here are their sales calls so day one this sales rep had 25 this one had 26 day two this person had 41 this person had 11 and we want to create not a histogram but a dot plot now let's look down uh, sale calls for sales rep 2 here we have the class and in earlier videos we set this all up um, just using the min, the max, and then creating an, a class interval. So for this class, we want to count how many uh, sales calls were between 10 and 14 in one day. This is how many sales calls uh, between 15 and 19 were in one day. So let's scroll over here, 10 to 14. Sales rep 2, well, there's one, so that's one dot. That's two, so that's two dots. And that's three, that's three dots. So this class means... How many, how many times did sales rep 2 have between 10 and 14 sales clock calls? I'm going to click on this cell and I'm going to use my asterisk, which is either shift 8 or the asterisk on the number pad. Now, after we create our formula to do this, we'll see how to format it. And I'm just going to do it right now real quick just to show you that that's how it's going to look right there. And we'll add some color and make it real fancy. But I, I don't want to have that format while I create the formula because it will make the formula hard to see. So that's the idea, three dots. So each one of these classes will have dots, and then we'll be able to compare these two. Now I'm going to start with this uh, data set up over here. And in this cell right here, we have to figure out how to create these dots. Well, there's a function called repeat repeat and so we're going to use the repeat function to repeat the number of dots so then it just comes down to how are we going to count how are we going to count between 10 and 14 15 and 19 well we already saw how to do this in earlier videos when we did our formulas for histograms and frequency distribution we're going to use two count ifs so I'm going to click in this cell right here equals count if and Make this a little bit bigger right here. Dunk, dunk. Count if, and the range is going to be sales rep 1. So I'm going to click at the very top number, hold Control Shift, and then down arrow. And then I'm going to hit my F4 key to lock it. And that's the range, but now it wants the criteria. Now, as we saw in earlier videos, the way you do this is you take, uh, for integers, you take less than or equal to 14 as your first count if, and then less than uh, for 10 for your second count if, and you subtract them. In essence, what you're doing is you're saying, hey, give me all the ones less than or equal to 14, and then subtract all the ones less than uh, 10. And that will count for all of these classes. So here it is. I need my criteria, so I type a comma. And the um, comparative operator has to be in quotes. So I'm going to put quote less than or equal to, and that's how you represent less than or equal to in Excel. There's no single symbol. Close quote, double quote. And then I need to use my join symbol, ampersand. So shift 7 to get my ampersand. And now I need to click on the 14. Now, that cell reference needs to be relative, because if I, as I copy it over here, I want it to move to 19 and then to 24, et cetera. Close parentheses. Now I simply need to take, create the same count if, but for the 10. So instead of typing it out, I'm going to copy all of this. Control C. Very carefully click at the end. Sometimes it's safer to click up here. Minus. And then I'm going to control V for paste. So I copied and pasted. Now, that's not going to work at all, because that F16, if I do that twice, it'll give me 0. So I'm going to double click that F16 and click there. But this won't work either, because for this bottom class, I need to include 10 here. So I have to get rid of this equal sign. And that's the formula that will count. Count if less than or equal to the uh, large end of the upper of this class, the upper end of the class minus the same count if, but for less than the cl lower class limit. 
Now I'm going to control enter to enter that formula in and copy it over just to see that that will give us the count of the number of dots we need. So there's a 1, a 1, a 1, a, th a 3. If you were to click in the cell and hit F2, you could see that it, it's actually looking at the right uh, values there. Now we need to uh, edit this formula. So I'm going to click here and hit F2, which is the edit key. And this whole thing right here is just giving us a number. And if you click right after the equal sign, but before the C, we'll do our repeat function, R-E-P-T. Repeat, and it needs text and then the number of times. That big long count if is the number of times, but we just need to type our text here. And you have to put your asterisk, your shift eight or your, your multiplication asterisk from the number pad in double quotes. So I'm going to use my uh, double quote, asterisk, double quote. Don't forget, see how the, the screen tip is bold? It's bold until you hit your comma, and then it moves on to the next, and number of times we already have there. So you very carefully click at the end, or in 2007, you can actually point to the bottom end of the formula bar and drag it down, and then type a parentheses there. Close parentheses, and that function will work. That is how you do a dot plot in a cell. Oh, look, it's 0 because there's none there. And then I'm going to click and drag. And sure enough, it got the uh, number of dots. Now let's do a little fancy footwork. I'm going to highlight all this, that range there, and Control-1 for format cells. I'm going to go to uh, horizontal on the alignment center. So they're in the center horizontally. Then I'm going to go to alignment here and have them vertical. Then I'm going to go to font, and I'm going to add a color. You can add whatever color you want. I'm going to add red. And I'm going to increase the font size to, say, 14. And then click OK. Oh, that is so cool. It's looking just delightful. Now we need to do the same thing for uh, the sales rep here. Instead of creating this whole formula again, I'm going to be pretty tricky here. I'm going to copy it and then just change the uh, input range for the sales rep to Control C, copying all that. And then I'm going to click in one cell right there and Control V. It gave me the same exact count, but that's not what I want. So I'm in, in this cell right here with the whole range highlighted. Notice that this is the C column, right? OK. The whole range highlighted, the light colored cell at the beginning, I'm going to hit F2. And I need to change all those. Ooh, it's got the, it's hard to see with all the formatting there. But I need to change my B's to C's. Ooh, not possible. I'm going to do it up here. That's the only way I can do it because it's all that formatting is making it hard to see. I'm actually uh, editing by highlighting the B and then um, replacing it by typing C. And then there I need a C right there. So now instead of the count ifs looking at sales rep 1, it's looking at the C column and sales rep 2. Because I'm editing this formula here and all the cells are highlighted, to populate all the cells with the new formula, hold Control and then hit Enter. And sure enough, there is our distribution. And this is why you do the little dot plots. You can still see the shape, Enter, still see the shape like the frequency uh, the histogram, but now you can see these little dots. So for 20 up to 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this person had five days where they had 20 to 24 uh, sales calls in one day, and up here they only had one. All right, um, we'll see you next video where we'll do a stem and leaf chart, which is similar to this and a histogram. All right, see you next video.